All right, we're back. Time for a big game breakdown. As always, live odds, sportsbookreview.com. Penn State and Michigan. Michigan 19, 57 at home. Last year, they were laying three, won 28 to 16 in Happy Valley in the first Harbaugh Franklin matchup. For Penn State, not just a question about McSorley's ability to handle a tough defense on the road, but can Franklin keep his team in it when he's outmanned, Teddy? Well, I mean, Penn State's been downright lousy yes. as an underdog, as a big dog uh, under Franklin. Uh, let's see, 0 and 5 straight up, 1 and 4 against the spread as dogs of plus 6 or more uh, under Franklin. As a road dog in this role, he's 0 and 2, losing the spread by a combined 41 points. So, hadn't even been close. And let's not forget, they got blown out at Pitt earlier in the year. They're down 21 nothing early. They did show some metal rallying back, even though they didn't get the win in that game. But you can't compare Pitt's D and Michigan's D. Not the same. Not even close. Especially when it comes to defending the pass, which is what Penn State would have to do to get back in the game if they fell behind early. Great start for the Big Ten so far, and Michigan leading the way along with Ohio State. Michigan has playmakers all over the field, Teddy. What do you think of your, your college that's uh, about the Wolverines so far? Well, you know, in terms of my, me rooting for Michigan, I haven't rooted for Michigan in years. The last time they played in a title game, I bet against the Wolverines. So, <laughs> uh, my loves, uh, you know, my, I love Michigan when I was there, uh, but my days of being a fan ended, uh, you know, well before I moved to Las Vegas. But that being said, I mean, Michigan, you talked about the playmakers all over the field. They scored four touchdowns this season already with the offense on the sidelines. And the markets generally tend to undervalue teams that score non-offensive touchdowns on a weekly basis. They're viewed more as lucky than as good. Their yards per point numbers are too low. They say, oh, well, they have to ride, come back to the mean. Eh, not necessarily. And in general, even though Michigan, I mean, Michigan is not a value team right now. The markets are white hot on the Wolverines. Mm -hmm. uh, Vegas is hot on Michigan. From the get-go, this team has been valued correctly or even overvalued. But uh, I'll tell you what. They're scoring on enough of touchdowns. They got a downright nasty defense. They're not a team I'm in any rush to bet against, even though there's no bargains to back them. Yeah. Well, Vegas is overrating Michigan. I mean, they're like four, five and six to one in the in the future book to win it all. That's crazy. Well, I mean, look at the way Wilton Spake's playing. Mm -hmm. You know, he's showing real promise. Fifty-one of eighty, six hundred eighty-six yards so far. Eight touchdowns, one INT. You know, you've got the three-headed monster at running back with Evan Smith and Ty Isaac. You know, they've all got at least twenty carries. Um, you know, this team's wearing opponents down in the second half, and uh, Harborough hasn't really had to do a whole lot yet. This is Big Ten competition, but it's not tough Big Ten competition. I think the Wolverines going to roll. Hey, guys, for the full video, go to sbrpicks.com. Research before you bet. Be sure to check out SBR Picks for the best game predictions, breakdowns, and much, much more.